Hey guys, Sherry here from No Fucks Given Crew. How's it going? So this is a new painting I'm working on, Scott Whelan, uh, from Stone Temple Pilots. So he passed away a couple of years ago, so another great musician. Anyway, um, so I'm still working on him. I still got a bit more. I've actually just started him, so. Okay. Um, this is going to be a twin flame reading for uh, June the 9th until the 16th. So I'm going to be using the John Holland Psychic Tarot as well as my cards. And I've already shuffled them pretty good. Let me just adjust the camera a little bit. Hopefully it doesn't pop out of the stand here. Okay. And my cards for clarifiers. Okay, so let's begin. So be beginning with the feminine. Now, I mean, both sides could relate to you. It uh, doesn't matter if you're masculine or feminine. I just call it masculine feminine. Um, so you don't have to be male or female. Whatever side relates or resonates with you is going to be for you. All right, so the feminine past position. Suffering in silence. So the important thing to note is this, there, it's a nine, So, and it's coming up in your past position. So you've moved on from this state. So the nine of swords represents, um, you know, staying up at night, um, unable to sleep, anxiety, nightmares. Uh, stress, worry, guilt, that kind of energy. So let's see what you are worrying about. Ace of Cups, Temperance card, and Five of Cups. Now, when I look at the three confirmation cards, I usually see it as a, a past, present, and future kind of energy, okay? So um, what this tells me is that there was a beginning of love. The Ace of Cups... Um, shows up when you're at a state where you've um, let go of the past, you've forgiven yourself, um, you've healed your heart, and you're truly in this open um, state to allow love to come in. So um, it seems to me like there was a beginning of a love. The temperance card represents, um, for me it's the ultimate union card, but I don't see that um, you know, what's going on in the cards here. What I'm seeing here is that you had patience um, while you were, you know, going through some form of transition. Remember that the Nine of Swords is the main card, right? So there's this kind of this energy of a pause. And, and um, although the Nine of Swords is, you know, stabbing thoughts, um, there's a sense that you came in to this balance or you, you started to look for some form of balance. Um, the temperance card is a balance between the spiritual world. Well, it's all areas of your life, basically, being balanced all around. Um, but it also represents being in the now. It's planting it, that seed of love and waiting for it to gestate, basically. So the Five of Cups... Um, represents mourning and loss. So it seems to me like during this period you really did a lot of purging. So you, f you know, you you, um, you felt um, any pain in your heart and you released it basically is what I'm seeing here. The Five of Cups is emotion, so it's an emotional loss. It's when you attach yourself to an idea or an outcome and it doesn't work out the way that you wanted it to, um, then that then you feel that deep sense of loss. So you've come out of that state. The Nine of Swords means um, you are nearing the completion of feeling that way. So it's coming in the past. I feel that you overcame it. And you did so in a very balanced way. You were already balanced, which allowed you to you know, to feel those emotions and um, cry those tears. Tears are like healing rain. Okay, so for the masculine, five of wands, obstacles and challenges. 
Uh, so this card is always meant to make your light shine brighter, okay? So it's a minor obstacle, minor challenge that you see here. It's just a small um, crack in the road. The Knight of Wands. Wow, Knight of Cups, Nine of Cups, and the Three of Pentacles. So I'm not really seeing any obstacles in the cards um, below. So the Knight of Wands is a very fast movement. It is, you know... Um, an explosion of energy, but it has to do with your spirituality. It has to do with going after, um, you know, the thing that um, makes you come alive. It's about creative um, ideas. It's about, um, you know, following your soul purpose. But it is having that idea and then going forward with it. And he went forward in, you know, there was no holding him back, basically, is what I'm seeing there. But the Nine of Cups, this represents wish granted. So the masculine moved towards that thing that made him happy. So the Nine of Cups represents an arrival. You know, it's a nearing the completion, just like the Nine over here. But it has to do with um, feeling emotionally fulfilled. So it's doing the things that make you happy, you know, being around friends, laughing, having a good time. So um, the masculine went forward with this um, abundance of love. He went forward because um, he wants to live his life the way that he wants to, to live it and he wants to be happy. So um, the Three of Pentacles represents a foundation being laid. A firm foundation is grounded. So this work that he's done on his you know soul growth as well as pursuing things that um, make him happy um, resulted in a solid foundation being grounded so you know this is success in the, the 3d it's that initial um, initial return of your investment basically so uh, you're being recognized for all all of the hard work that you've done and this card says that more rewards are coming so he's overcome some obstacles and uh, he did it in the most amazing way a very accomplished way so he made a decision to follow his sole purpose which makes him happy and he was successful at it so the feminine present position three of cups so this card talks about um, feeling love and celebrating that love so it could also represent friends you know um, joining a group with like-minded people um, but really, you know, when two people come together, they create a third energy, which is love, right? And so it's celebrating that loving feeling. And you can feel it moving through your body. And it awakens you. It, it makes you realize that you're connected to something much higher than yourself. So, yeah, you're feeling this, you know, love. And you want to celebrate it. So let's see what else. The sacral chakra. Queen of Wands and Five of Pentacles. So the sacral chakra is your emotions, where your emotions are stored. And so, you know, it kind of, these two cards here more or less um, mirror this energy down here. Um, so right now you feel like your um, your emotions are activated <laughs> you you feel like you're able to express yourself um, and you're celebrating that energy the uh, Queen of Wands is the Queen of no fucks given so this could be a fire sign but really it's a divine mass uh, feminine who um, is on her spiritual path just like the night down here um, and you know you're, you you feel like you are um, more or less like the center of attention. You feel very charismatic. You feel on fire, lit up. Um, you feel, you know, like you can express yourself openly. And it may be because of a connection that you've made with some friends or a group that you've joined. Um, but what I'm noticing down here is the knight is moving towards the queen. So the queen is also the object of the masculine's desires as well. Uh, the five of pentacles represents needing to release yourself from something in the 3D or you feel locked out. 
you feel left out in the cold. Um, so it could be, you know, a decision to actually shoot yourself in the foot in order to be released from something, or you're making a decision that may require some form of financial loss in the 3D world, um, but you're willing to do that. But really, it represents being disconnected. Um, so it's kind of confusing me right now because, you know, these are really great cards. But this is kind of like that future present energy. So, um... I feel, you know, that you're empowered and if you need to make a sacrifice, if you need to do something in order to release yourself or if you feel like you're being left out of something, that's okay because you, you are, it says that you're emotionally balanced and this beautiful love energy is coming, you know, flowing through you and you you know, there's an even exchange of energy uh, with the people in your environment. Um, and people look up to you, they admire you, they see you as a leader. So it's not a big deal is what I'm seeing here. If you need to, to release yourself from something or if you feel left out, it's not a big deal. You, you, look, you, you seem emotionally and spiritually grounded right now and happy. Okay, so his present position, truth, judgment card. So this is the grand awakening. Uh, this is realizing the truth. Um, so it's realizing your entire life has just been a, uh, you know, more or less an illusion, something you created. Um, it's just a movie that you are projecting on the screen in your own mind. So you choose to believe the story. Um, you've created that story. You've created the plot, the characters. Um, so it's that, that awareness and awakening and then also realizing that you can create a new reality for yourself. Um, so it's, it's a transition energy. It's, it's a, a death and a rebirth. Um, but it's that aha moment and it, it, you know, it's a life changer kind of energy. So he's moving through, uh, this awakening process. This card could also represent needing to reevaluate your past, um, because a decision needs to be made. And so you're, you're weighing your options, um, in order to make that decision. So let's see what else comes up with that. Nine of Pentacles, so it has to do with its independence. Seven of Swords and Nine of Wands. So the Nine of Pentacles represents, a, like I said, independence. It's um, being financially free. It's at that point where, you know, you can enjoy the finer things in life. This is emotional abundance, the Nine of, of uh, Cups. Um, the Nine of Pentacles is financial um, abundance. Basically, you know, you can uh, treat yourself to a massage or, or a vacation or something like that. You don't have to worry about money anymore. Uh, then we got the Nine of Wands and we have the uh, Nine of Swords. So all four nines are showing up. So that, again, that means that it's nearing the completion. So um, in the recent past, there is this energy of him finding his independence or at least building up um, a wealth for himself, uh, an abundance for himself uh, that, um, you know, gives him some sense of freedom. So the Nine of Pentacles is harvest. It's ripeness. It's being ready. The, the fruit is ready to drop from the trees. Okay, so he he's standing on um, abundance. And evaluating his life, trying to make decisions about where to go from there. The Seven of Swords is uh, deception and envy. So the reason why he's doing a lot of, um, you know, evaluating is because he doesn't want to make any mistakes. Um, he doesn't want, you know, anything left undone. Um, the Seven of Swords for me right now just feels like he's taking care of all the details, right? Um, so that this may also represent that there's somebody in his environment that he doesn't fully trust and he feels like they're going to stab him in the back um, and that he can't trust them. Now, that could also be, you know, the, the divine feminine. Maybe he doesn't um, fully believe, you know, that the, the connection is real. So the nine of wands represents um, the wounded warrior. So the masculine is saying that he's been through a lot of battles um, to get to the point that he's at right now. Um, so, you know, the deeper mean, meaning to this card is you have this strong spiritual foundation and you have the strength 
within you in order to give it that final push. Um, so he, what I really feel is, you know, he's working on what what step to take take next. Okay, so we got the nine of pentacles. So the next step would be like the ten of pentacles, which is that long term goal, right? Actually manifesting this um, stability and foundation and family life long term. So he's he's trying to figure out how to get there, but he's also thinking, you know, I've been hurt so many times before, and um, I really need to make sure that this is something that I want to do. Um, you know, if it, if that means you know making um, finding his independence, if he's in a like a karmic relationship, or if he wants to actually move forward with the relationship with the twin flame, you know, it may involve moving or. Um, you know, maybe it requires a change of job or, um, yeah, so there's definitely a lot of thinking going on right now and a lot of questioning. Okay, near future for the feminine. Wow, crown chakra. So what, you yeah, know, that's the second chakra that's been activated so far. So in the near future, you are, you know, this card could represent... Um, creative inspiration or just a you know a direct connection with source uh, meditation um, but this card represents I know so it's the crown chakra is worth you know you think I their thoughts so let's see what else comes up eight of swords Wow magician Wow a page of wands so Again, you know, this is going to represent kind of a past energy. So it's a supporting energy for the crown chakra. So the eight of swords represents a mental prison. Very cool that you've come out of that state. So remember down here we have the nine of swords. So you've released, you will be releasing yourself from that mental state even further. But um, not only that, you're actually going to be connecting with that, that power. Uh, with the magician, I'll explain in a minute. But you know, with the um, Eight of Swords, this represents an oppressive energy coming from the outside. So somebody was kind of like holding you down, holding you back, keeping you locked out. Um, same thing, you know, with the the Five of Pentacles. Is you know, it's a feeling of being left out in the cold, and this is a mental prison. You know, so that is over I, in the future. You will be releasing yourself from that. The magician card. Um, is the master manifester so he has his crown chakra activated and you know he's downloading information from source from the Akashic records from the collective um, and manifesting his dreams his thoughts into reality so very powerful card it's number one um, so the old life is over and the near future you're going to be on fire um, your crown chakra activated and you're stepping into this power um, the magic or sorry the page of wands another fire energy that's three court cards from the fire suit so far and remember the fire is spirit so it has to do with your spirituality the page of, uh, of wands is um, a spark of inspiration it's creativity it's uh, an aha moment as well but again has to do with your spirituality so um, this is realizing that you want to be out of the machine, out of this cage, and um, you want to create a new life for yourself. So it's a new beginning, and it's planning stage. Um, you know, there's more to life than a 9 to 5 job, right? So it's actually um, fulfilling or thinking about fulfilling your, your spiritual purpose. So this card is a, a page as well, so it could represent communication, really good communication. Um, or um, good news. So what I see here is you release yourself from the mental person, you activate your crown chakra, you start manifesting the heck out of everything, and you start planning for your um, soul purpose, you know, living your true authentic life, basically. Near future for the masculine, wow, throat chakra. So communication, he wants to communicate this was a pretty strong uh, card in last week's reading, so let's see what's going on. Chariot. 
Ten of Wands, and the Hangman. So the Chariot is very similar to this Nine of Cups. It's um, pursuing the things that make you happy. Okay, so the Nine of Cups is more of an arrival, whereas the Chariot is actually moving forward. So you desire, you know, actually these two cards together is a very similar energy to the Chariot. We got the Nine knight of wands and the cup energy which is water and it's movement towards that thing that makes you happy exact same um meaning okay with the chariot so again water energy which represents emotions um and this card represents actually um taking control of the reins um and directing yourself towards that goal so using the board in order to move yourself through the vortex um, towards your dream life, overcoming any obstacles in your way. The Ten of Wands, beautiful. We got the Nine here, right, in the present position. The Ten means it's over, it's done. So the Ten is completion, but um, on a deeper level, it means you know you were you were caught in the machine. You were um, burning the candle at both ends. You were exhausted. Um, and you just couldn't do it anymore. You were taking on too many responsibilities, too many burdens, and that's it. It's done. It's over. No more. I'm not going to waste my life. Um, the hangman represents seeing things from a different perspective, um, but it also represents surrender, letting go of control, uh, and self-sacrifice as well. So it's an enlightenment card. Um, and it makes sense that it would come after something like the judgment card. It's like, okay, I've reevaluated my past. I've made a decision and I'm going to go forward with um, pursuing that thing that makes me happy. But it, re it requires me to make a sacrifice of some kind. And I'm willing to do that in order to be happy. So either he's listening to his inner voice because that's what the hangman does. Or it could represent that he wants to communicate that information. And um, what a quinky dink. There is the page of wands over on the other side, on the feminine side. So it could mean really good communication. Um, that, uh, you know, initiates that manifestation, that new life. All right. So final outcome for the feminine. Whoa. The devil card temptation um, so this card represents a chain in the 3d seems to be a repeated theme here you know releasing yourself from something releasing yourself from something um, and again with the chain so this could be it's something holding you back in the 3d so it could be a codependent relationship an addiction or self-limiting beliefs um, but, you know, putting a lot of, um, you know, um, importance on 3D possessions and its pleasures. So let's see what else comes up with that. Seven of Pentacles. Wow. Ace of Pentacles. And the Two of Swords. All right. So the Seven of Pentacles represents waiting for harvest it's a gestation period um, the pregnant pause right so you've done a lot of work in the 3d and um, because it's in that kind of like that past position it's like that wait is over and what finally comes your way well the ace of pentacles that's a brand new beginning in the 3d world so it's starting a new life or a new project or um, it's just you know could represent abundance as well uh, it's a windfall card right so it's a gift from the universe so something is going to be offered to you that unchains you from the devil now if you look at this card there, there's actually a key up here and it has a little heart on it so you know uh, it's like this masculine energy doesn't know if they should take the key or not or you know there's that back and forth kind of energy and that's kind of what I was feeling with this sequence as well. It's kind of back and forth. I don't know. I'm exhausted. I'm tired. I don't know if I can do this. Um, so, I mean, this card could represent the masculine, but it also could represent you as well. So you're, you're looking for the key to your freedom. 
And ultimately, that's what happens. You get your key. You get your freedom. Now, the Two of Swords represents making a decision. Okay, so there's two choices that you can make. And both have far-reaching consequences. So, from this sequence of cards, what I feel is that a decision is made that releases you from that chain. Or, um, I'm going to pull one more card, I think for a clarifier from for this ladies always have such complex readings so yeah the two of swords is having um, two choices and they're life changers and because they're so important it feels like you know you, you can't make that choice so you end up staying in the same spot um, but I don't feel that's what's happening because we got that ace of pentacles which is that brand new beginning of life it's a release it's a free um, it's your freedom being granted and this means things coming to a standstill, so that doesn't make sense. So let me just pull one card from the Osho Zen. Spirit, what do you mean by the Two of Swords? like maybe you know finally that offer comes and then now you need to decide whether or not you want to take the offer Whoa. three of wands that doesn't really help me you know that's all about being in the now and it has to do with waiting as well so if I'm gonna you know use the right of weight deck meaning that basically uh, means that a decision was made in the past that had to do with your spirituality, you know, following your, your spiritual higher purpose, uh, what it seems to me is what you're doing, right? So that decision has been made, and so the Three of Wands would represent waiting for that return. So I'm not going to read that one because I've read it before, so I'm just going to pull one more card. What the heck? Spirit. Wow, okay, Two of Cups, Friendliness. Um, we pulled this one recently as well. In, in the um, Osho Zen deck, it represents a loving relationship but not being attached to it. So I think I'll read that again for you guys, okay? Because it now kind of makes sense with that Devil card. I kind of understand what they're saying. Make sure I don't burn my cards there. So, two of water. Okay, so it says, The branches of these two flowering trees are intertwined, and their fallen petals blend together on the ground in their beautiful colors. It is, if, it is as if heaven and earth are bridged by love, but they stand individually, each rooted in the soul in their own connection with earth. In this way, they represent the essence of true friends, mature, easy with each other, natural. There is no urgency about their connection, no neediness, no desire to change the other into something else. Beautiful. This card indicates a readiness to enter this quality of friendliness. In the passage, you may notice that you are no longer interested in all kinds of dramas, and romance that other people are engaged in. Um, it is not a loss. It is a birth of a higher, more loving quality, born of fullness of experience. It is the birth of a love that is truly unconditional, without expectations or demands. Beautiful. Yeah, that's definitely what I was feeling in the reading. So, you know, there was that new love connection, and it seems to me like you released yourself from, you know, any attachments in the past and you found your power um, you need to release yourself from something in the 3D is what I'm picking up here that ultimately manifests itself um, as the final outcome you know you, you end up finally being released from that thing as a final outcome um, and which allows this two cups which is a 
you know, spiritual union card in the Rider White deck. So it's recognizing your twin flame and um, having the heart chakra activated, the crown chakra, you know, that kind of thing. And yeah. So, um, final outcome for the masculine. Um, wow. The universe card. Beautiful. So this is the final piece of the puzzle being placed. Um, and it is the end of the fool's journey as well. So it's going through all the stages of awakening and, um, you know, completing a major cycle from 20 years up to a lifetime. So that final piece of the puzzle is placed and it means that abundance is coming towards you. Um, but after, you know, the universe card is um, the, the fool. So it's a brand new beginning as well. So let's see what else. Seven of Cups. King of Swords. And Three of Cups. This guy shows up a lot in the Twin Flame reading. So it's mental clarity. Um, the Seven of Cups represents having too many options and not knowing which way to choose. Um, so ultimately, he chooses a direction. He follows his, his heart. The King of Swords represents making that decision, making that choice, but it also represents communication. Um, could represent an air sign. Uh, but the king is, you know, that pinnacle of achievement in terms of um, mental control, detachment from emotions, making decisions, that authority figure. Um, but it, it just feels to me like he knows his truth. He, he figures shit out. Uh, it makes a decision, and that's what causes that final piece of the puzzle to be placed. The Three of Cups, again, the feminine got that in her present position, so it's union energy, and uh, so it feels to me like he, it's this loving connection, this, um, you know, following your heart kind of energy again is what I'm feeling. So beautiful. Maybe not. Okay, so for the foundation, no way. Four of Wands. This is a twin flame confirmation card for me. Uh, so this is an arrival. Um, there's a sense that both, um, both aspects um, can almost taste this union. Uh, it's a foundation, right? So that's what the whole entire reading is grounded on. Um, so it feels near, close at hand to me. So uh, this is engagement, marriage. It's arriving um, at that point with your twin where you're actually sharing your life with them in the 3D, even though it's a spiritual card. Uh, and it's Four of Wands, which represents the 1111. So it's confirmation, you know, that this connection is coming together. So I don't think I want to pull any additional cards for that. The crown, wow, ace of cups, beautiful. Everything comes around, full circle. So remember you got the ace of cups in the past, right? So um, you were patient as that energy transformed itself. And here we have it, you know, transmuting as the crown energy, brand new beginning of love too. Um, aspects are coming together in uh, harmony and union to start a new life together. So, like I was mentioning earlier, you know, this card only comes up when you're ready to open your heart, give love unconditionally and freely. And unconditional love is a major theme in this reading right now. This new beginning, this twin flame connection is all happening because of that free flow of love between the two. And... Um, yeah, it's not wanting to own that person, not wanting to control that person. It's just pure love. And that's what Twin Flame, you know, connection is all about. So I actually forgot to pull the energy for the feminine, what the feminine and the masculine are bringing in. So the feminine first. Wow. Lover's card. So for me, this represents the um, burning desire and deep passionate love that um, twin flames or soulmates share between each other. There's no love like it. Um, 
you know, it's, it's a burning desire to be with your twin. So the feminine, um, you know, she recognizes her masculine and has this deep love and desire for him. And yeah, so, but it represents longing for that union. So it's not actual union just yet, but you are in love. What is masculine bringing in? Wow. High priest. Bam. So he's, again, gone through all of those stages of awakening. And what he's bringing in is this spiritual leader. Look at all that wisdom and knowledge that he's acquired. And um, it's like he's this pure spirit. He's found his soul purpose. He's, um, he's awakened. And he wants to share his wisdom and knowledge with other people to help draw them out of the darkness. So... That's amazing. It's beautiful. Whoa. Yeah, I don't think I want to go any further with that. That's just too perfect. Uh, so the heart-centered energy, disruption, the tower. So, uh, yeah, this represents a sudden change. It comes in out of the blue. It, you know, tears down uh, the faulty foundation, the lies, the um, um, the 3D chains. Um Anything that's holding you back that's based on an illusion comes down. Um, and you can't stop the tower. It, it happens whether you are ready for it or not. So there's major changes, transformations happening between the twins right now. Not, not as dramatic as the feminine over here. You know, it seems to me this week the feminine is releasing something, whereas most of the time she's in this relaxed um still state even though you know there's fears kind of knocking on her door every once in a while for the most part she seemed pretty you know patient but now there's something that needs to be released so i'm going to pull one card for the feminine and one for the masculine what the heck solar plexus chakra so you're trying to find power in order to make a change. Strength. You're, maybe you're providing the masculine strength. Um, hmm. I think you're just being represented as being very powerful because of all the shit that you've been through. You've made it through the fire, and you're still standing strong. So I'm going to pull one card for the masculine as well. The sun card. That's amazing. So this could represent masculine energy, and that's kind of what I'm seeing there. There's like such a th this powerful progression to ultimate uh, awakening, illumination. And, and the sun represents just that. It's, um, it has to do with... Um, spirituality illumination being in the the light you know spirit is recognizing you for all of your accomplishments and its abundance it's um every good emotion that you can imagine and it, it also represents a brand new beginning of life um and um seeing the future through a child's eyes so he's finding his power there's some mirroring going on here there's the sun and the solar plexus which is power um as the tower falls but from that destruction remember love is pouring down on this tower and that's why the 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 false you know life needs to to come down is because there's this recognition of what my life can truly be like i could be happy um really truly happy in a, you know, a true love connection and it's almost like there's a surrender on both sides an understanding and acknowledgement and a surrender as the tower comes down and like I said that's what's necessary in order for the, the two of you to fully come together so I'm going to look at the bottom of the deck for the overall message. wow, a sacral chakra again so where your emotions are stored, the feminine. She has a lot of, a lot of chakras activated, so she got that as well, right? In her present position, she also got the solar plexus, the crown, 
um, the masculine got the throat over here, but this is an overall energy for the reading is the sacral chakra. So it's emotions. Your both of your um, you know, both aspects have this chakra activated right now. And you can see that on the masculine side, the nine of cups, you know, pursuing the thing that makes him happy. Um, pursuing the thing that makes him happy. And because he makes that decision, he, you know, completes his final stage and gains this massive enlightenment, which ultimately um, causes a transformation or a shift in energy, which brings about a union. And you're super happy too. Okay, so I'm going to pull um, two cards from Miss and Mermaids, and I'll read them to you. Thank you, guys. I, I want to just mention, you know, the support that you've been giving me keeps me, um, you know, keeps me motivated and um, excited to do these readings for you. So I, I read all the comments and I appreciate all the comments so much. So please um, feel free to let me know how the reading resonated for you. And uh, yeah, and thank you again for your support. I love you guys. You're the best. Okay, so for the feminine. Ooh, I've never seen this one before. Um, stranded. Okay, and for the masculine. Trilobites. Okay, so number 38. Are you able to see those cards okay? Okay, so stranded. For the solitary seafarer, the time has come to weep, longing, empty, yearning for her dreams, dreamt dark and deep. For lonely, lamenting, she aches to close the gap she keeps, remembering a loved one as she's drifting off to sleep, slipping into nothing, an oaken, gnarled embrace, listlessly awaiting the sun's illustrious face, alone on the island swiftly shrinking space she's stranded alone afraid and in disgrace wow waiting for the sun and yeah really reflects these cards right down here okay it says alone and stuck in a gnarled tree on a deserted island a melancholy mermaid stares into the distance oblivious to the sunrise Sorry, the sunset rising behind her. She is pale and lost in a reverie. She is isolated and lonely, but why? The meaning, stop isolating yourself. You may feel deserted, but it is self-imposed isolation. <laughs> self-imposed prison isolation. You're not left out in the cold. That's your reading in a nutshell. Um, what you see as a rejection is all in your mind. Others are not avoiding you. You are avoiding them, preemptively preventing them from rejecting you. It is not healthy to avoid relationships and interactions for fear of losing a loved one or becoming embarrassed. It is time to step off the island you have created for yourself and join the rest of society. Make contact with a friend you have been avoiding. Go back to class and meetings you bowed out of and wisely invest in new modes of communication so you can talk once again with the world. The world is waiting for you. It is it is up to you to take the first step. Bam, that's exactly what I saw there, okay? So number 44. Try low bites. Rome was not built in just one day, nor fossils formed in one season. Timeless concepts oft take time to convey without doubt this provides us with good reason to slow down sit back meditate and delay 
take stock of all the words we ought to say and weigh all the oaths and debts to repay, thus avoiding irrevocable treason. <laughs> That's freaking hilarious. That's exactly what these cards are saying here. Okay, so a timeless maiden stares serenely into space as she embraces her trilobite friend. Shielded by the ancient creatures, she is a symbol of ageist beauty and utmost patience. This is a girl who knows how to wait. So the meaning, expand your timeline. Trilobites are ancient creatures who once roamed our oceans for millions of years. Over time, they have become but fossil memories. Uh, just as it took a millennia for them to change, so too your situation will take much longer to mature than you originally thought. Take heart. However, this time will do you good. Take this opportunity to meditate on your past and future actions. Consider your words and perhaps even rehearse your lines over and over again until you have everything just right. But more importantly, do not rush. Take your time and let each situation ripen in its own way. You may not know precisely what you're waiting for, but worry not. The time will not be wasted. Mentally expand your timeline and expand and make good use of your weight. Yes, that's exactly what I'm seeing. He's he's pausing and reevaluating and um, surrendering, but ultimately he he's going to be placing that final piece of the puzzle. Okay, brand new beginning, twin flame, but the tower requires mental clarity, control and surrender, um, you know, during this period. So, and it's always meant, you know, for new things to come in a new life. So allow the tower to fall. All right. So I hope this made sense. <laughs> All right. Love you guys. Peace.